the killer who used the building structure. Like, who's Mekumaru's murderer? But is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. I don't want to die either. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but... I will sincerely retract that remark. Retract? I'm disappointed too, you know. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods, per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. Forcibly sacrificing others for one's own desires. Even one as diabolical as I would avoid such actions. I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. Uh, Akane! You're drooling waterfalls? Anyway, if the killer used the building's structure, why don't we think about how they used it? How they killed Nekomaru? It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Died from falling. Died from falling? If the fun house's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Negamaro to die from falling. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That I don't know yet. <laughs> don't just make things up when you don't know the method. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Hmm, but my gut is going crazy right now. is on the first floor you can't go through the door on the fourth floor hmm. it'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there then how about this after locking the Camaro inside the elevator they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop hold on did you forget the elevator has a sensor as long as there's a moving object inside, the other door won't open. Which means the elevator wouldn't have moved either. That must be the threshold of that elevator.
When the elevator is on the first floor, you can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Hmm. It'd be impossible to shove off the... Then, how about this? After locking the Camaro inside the elevator, they move the elevator from the fourth and make use of the... Hold on! Did you forget... As long as there's a moving object inside... No, that's wrong! That sensor should only work if something is moving. If Nekomaru wasn't moving inside, the elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. Could it be his sleep mode? When Nekomaru's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? I see. So that's how... However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along with it. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from, yes? That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi interrupted me. Silence, pest! Now you're calling me a pest?! If you arrange it a certain way, you can cause the drop within the elevator. So you're telling us all to think about the arrangement, right? That arrangement is... The hammer is suspicious. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? What about the oil on the floor? The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. I agree with that! Didn't the doorknob have straight marks on it? That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekomaru? The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. If the elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob... If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in mid-air! That's right. He was suspended in mid-air. Huh? The killer tied up Mekamara with the wire while he was in sleep mode. Tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob to the fourth floor. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. And suspended Nekomaru in midair. That's right! He was so well hung! <laughs> Kinda like! You better not finish that sentence! The killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so Nekomaru could fall to his death. Too easy! So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that! Nekomaru is suspended in mid-air like that, then how do you get him to fall? Because if he's suspended in mid-air, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire... How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from... How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that.
Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. I can't back down! <laughs> Even if they suspended Nekomaru, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off! There's no way they could do that! Even if they suspended Nekomaru from... How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push... There's no way they could do that! Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire... How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off! There's no way they could do that! Even if they suspended Nekomaru, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him off. There's no way they could do that. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire, how would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push him. There's no way they could do that. It doesn't mean someone had to push him off. It's possible that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru? Nekomaru should have still been in. If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the time, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain. Moving the elevator with is just impossible. End of story. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the time, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with next is just impossible. End of story. What? Nekomaru? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to himself. <laughs> Now's the time if you want. But in that case. You still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with next is just impossible. End of story. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Crap. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? Allow me to cut through those words! What do you think would happen if Nekomaru woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair? What are you saying? Like, how would he even wake up? He has an alarm inside his body. As long as it was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekomaru. If you woke up from an alarm, and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why. 
If something like that happened to you, you would start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Mekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make it fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? He fell because the entire doorknob came off. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected, which caused the doorknob to break off. Was that unexpected for the killer too? Well, that's probably it. If they knew it'd leave behind evidence like that, they would have at least tried to do something to cover it up. I see. So that's how Nekomaru fell to his death. Do you finally understand now? Yeah. It appears it's just as Miss Sonia said. I'm just a pest. No, I'm not just a pest. Isn't that right, Miss Sonia? If I'm a fucking pig, you can say so! No, I believe you gave your all. Hey! Why aren't you teasing me anymore? This guy... He gets off on this! So thanks to that alarm, Nekomaru ended up falling while he was still hanging upside down. That doesn't mean he just crashed straight into the floor. Of course, you know that too, right? Nekomaru fell to the floor. He ended up colliding with the pillar. Isn't that it? Finally, the pillar! So that's how the pillar shattered, and why oil was spilled all over the place. See? I told you the pillar was the weapon. My gut was totally right! Well, the pillar was a bonus. It's not even clear if the killer intended that, or if it was just a coincidence. At this point, it is quite difficult to find a clue that will lead to the killer. Then what about the alarm? I'm positive the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m., and if we map it out from there... Hold on, baby gangsta! S stop calling me baby gangsta! What'd you just say? Did you say the alarm was set for 7.30 a.m.? You didn't check it yourself. Nekomaru's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Nah, that's impossible. Because even though I slept in a little, I still got to the tower at 7 in the morning. N now that you mention it, so did I. There was no way I could be late for Monokuma Tai Chi, so I left for Grape Tower before 7 a.m. And if we found Nekomaru's body there, it would have been before the 7.30 a.m. alarm went off. It appears yet another contradiction has been birthed. How were you able to discover Nekomaru died at 7.30 a.m. when you went to the tower at 7? Th that's what I want to know! Before 7 a.m., I am certain. 
but the alarm inside Nekomaru's chest was set for 7.30 a.m. Nekomaru died because of that alarm, right? His time of death and the time the body was discovered. One of those must be an illusion. The killer probably did some tampering. They probably messed with the clock inside Nekomaru's... No, that's wrong! No, the clock inside his chest was a radio clock, so it would have been impossible to mess with. So you're saying there's no way the killer could have tampered with a clock? Maybe the clock Miss Sonia saw was the one that got tampered with. The clock inside Grape House? No, I checked all the clocks inside the Fun House. Oh, that's what I asked you to do. So you really listened to me and checked all the clocks. And because of that, I can confidently declare that all the clocks had the same time displayed. If there's no possibility that the time was tampered with, then we must doubt that human's testimony. Please believe me, we are not lying! Then maybe it's a misunderstanding? I never misunderstand! I'll crush you into dog food! <laughs> 